Hey guys, karibu sana to another tutorial slash BTS of a shoot that I did recently with Brian Mwando who is a Kenyan based photographer. A very good one by the way guys. You should check him out at brianmwando.com and also Brian Mwando on Instagram. And I also got to work with the gorgeous Olivia Sang who is a Kenyan supermodel amazing one by the way she is super talented she is she knows her job she knows her job she delivers so if you ever need a model who can do runway commercials you know all that model stuff book her check her out on instagram at olivia sang underscore ea and i know you will not regret it like she is really good <laughs> so i started with prepping her skin for this shoot and then went straight to the eyebrows. I used a dark brown pencil and just used a brush to put the product on her eyebrows. I didn't use the pencil directly. And used the Illegal Pro Concealer in Chestnut to just clean up the eyebrows, under the eyebrows rather. I did not clean up above the eyebrow, no. Just under the eyebrows because I wanted a really clean and subtle look. Then I used the same concealer and just applied it all over her eyelid and then set it with a MAC Studio Fix and W50 powder. I then lined the eyes using a white pencil and went over it with a brown pencil. Then followed by the Maybelline mascara, it's the Colossal mascara. On her skin, I used the Suzy Beauty foundation in SB70 just to even out her skin and then used the MAC Studio Fix powder in NW58 to powder her face and also just use it to contour, a little bit of contour her face. I also used the MAC Studio Fix powder in NW50 for the highlighted parts of the face. The look that we were going for was kind of a highlighted one. So I just carved out a bit of our face using the makeup and then use also a bit of highlighter just to bring the features out as you will see in the pictures. And it was awesome, it was awesome. Oh, I also used the Micro HD foundation by Cryolan, the dark one. I can't remember the shade, but it's a really dark one, just to help also contour a little bit of her face. And yeah, as you can see, the contour was getting real here. I used the Chestnut Concealer by Elega, and then used a makeup wedge to blend the concealer onto the skin. Yeah, you remember guys what I said about highlighting and contouring? Yes, that is what is happening over here. <laughs> Using the MAC Studio Fix powders in NW58 and 50. And then I went straight to the lips and here I'm using the Wet and Wild Lip Pencil. It's, in, it's a mauve color. I cannot remember the number but it's a mauve color. It's a really nice color. And then I mixed it with a brown color. I think I used the Colourpop Peach Lip Liner which is a really nice brown and I mixed the two and then used a Black Radiance Gloss just to make everything look awesome and nice because that is what I was going for. Then after that I highlighted her face but I did this while before shooting so you, you'll not see this here but I used the Colourpop Highlighter in Might Be and used it to highlight her face and her collarbone and everything just looked awesome as you will see in the pictures so that is it for me guys you go check these guys out and until next tutorial peace love and makeup Bam! they are killing it Woo.